Hey there friends. Today I'm going to show you how I make this delicious jalapeno wine jelly. Perfect for crackers, bacon candy, any number of things. First thing you're going to want to do is dice your jalapeno peppers. I use rubber gloves. Um, make sure your rubber gloves are clean. You know, you don't want these to be the rubber gloves that you maybe have been cleaning other parts of your house and you know what I'm saying. Um, so just make sure they're clean. I just wash my hands with the rubber, rubber gloves on. Um, anyway, dice your jalapenos well, and I'm using five jalapenos for this recipe. If you want something hotter, use serranos or habanero. Um, I've got two little pots of sugar, and to the smaller half cup pot of sugar, I'm gonna add a pack of the less sugar pectin, and I'm using the sure gel. I'm gonna mix that up really well just helps the pectin incorporate into the liquid so you don't get any clumps of pectin. I'm adding my wine to my Kilner Jam Pan, which I love. And um, this is just a bottle of wine I just didn't love and have been trying to find ways to use a couple of them up and this worked out perfectly. I added my pectin and sugar mix and just stirred that really well to make sure once again that the pectin incorporated well into the wine. It didn't clump up at all. Once that was thoroughly dissolved, I added my jalapeno peppers and the rest, the one and a half cup sugar. And I'm gonna just over high heat, bring that to a good boil, medium high to high, to a good boil that, that can't be stirred down like that. And then I'm just gonna let it boil hard for two minutes. At the end of the two, at the end of two minutes, I'm gonna add my white balsamic vinegar and now I'm ready to can it. So I'm gonna, bring my jars to a boil and while that's happening I'm going to set up my canning area. These are just all the tools that I use. I always put a towel down. I, I, cleanliness is one of the most important things. So I have washed this counter. This is a brand new cloth. Um, I've washed my hands a bunch of times. Everything is sterile. That's, that's one of the biggest things. I don't want to go overboard, but I don't think you could be too clean in canning. I'm using weck jars here and they require a headspace of a half inch. So I'm just, you know, getting a little bit of my jelly into the jar and then I'm going to check that headspace with my headspace gauge. And ball jars only require a quarter of an inch. This funnel is helpful to keep any any stuff from getting on the rim of the jar. Um, in any event, I always wipe the rims down with vinegar and a rag. I use a rag, but use paper towels if you want. I use a clean rag, obviously. And these rubber gaskets have, were put into boiling water and then they boiled for about two minutes and then I just left them in the hot water. Put my glass lid on, which once again, I had boiled with the jars. And now I'm just getting the clips on. I'm gonna use my WEC jar holder. It does, the RECs do require a different jar holder than say a ball jar, unfortunately. And I'm gonna take it over and put it in my pan of simmering water and grab another one. With this jelly, I found that towards the end, my, my last jar was more jelly and fewer jalapenos, so I would recommend making sure that you're equally distributing your jalapenos amongst your jars. Checking my headspace, cleaning my rims. I do this for everything I can. Um, I clean the rims just, just to make sure I get a good seal, whether it's with ball jars or wet jars, I do that. And I'm just showing you how the clips are on. Also, this tab with the wet jar, it will curve down when, the, with the, when it's sealed. And you'll be able to see that in the final pictures. One 
one last one. I'm gonna do this one at hyperspeed. I used another jar, I can't a different one, not using my wet jars to send to my daughter at school. Just because I'm very, I wanted to make sure I got my wet jar back. And then I'm getting the dregs out of this one. I wanted to, and I got enough to get that uh, half inch headspace. And this was the one that had very few peppers in it. It was mostly the wine jelly, but it still worked. You're gonna bring that water to a boil. Once it's fully boiling, you can cover up the lid and let it boil for 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, just remove them to a area where they can be left undisturbed. Make sure um, I point out to you how you know when a wet jar has sealed. Um, the little rubber gasket has a tab on it. And as you can see in, in this picture, the tab is pointing down. And that's how you know on a wet jar that they have sealed. In a ball or curd jar, the little button in the middle will pop down. Now, how you use your jalapeno wine jelly is completely up to you. I like it as a dab on piece of cheese on crackers. I use it to coat meats before I'm grilling. Perhaps my most favorite way is to coat uncooked slices of bacon with the jelly. Bake them at a slow 325. You're gonna to wanna to check them because you don't want them to burn. Um, and then what the resulting caramelized bacon candy is nothing short of addictive. I promise you, it is so good. Um, in any event, I hope you enjoy however you use it. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching this video today. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to see this recipe in detail, pop over to the blog and you can do that by clicking that button in the upper right hand corner. Uh, if you did like the video and you'd like to see more of them, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, once again, thanks so much for stopping by and have a fantastic day.